Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Emma Stig. Health authorities say it was sheer luck that a COVID case in Queensland was caught. A 44-year-old woman from Melbourne has tested positive after escaping lockdown with her husband last week, travelling through country New South Wales and over the Queensland border to the Sunshine Coast. It's understood the couple only came forward for testing because the partner needed a negative COVID test for work purposes. Queensland's Chief Health Officer Dr Jeanette Young says they're still interviewing them to get the full picture. I don't know the details, why they left, what their reason was at the moment. I'm absolutely focused on just getting this information out there. Health authorities have changed the vaccination advice for pregnant women, now encouraging them to get the Pfizer COVID jab. New data suggests there are no significant safety concerns for that formula. Melbourne will leave its latest lockdown in the early hours of Friday morning. Morning. The first section of the community returning to normal will be schools with students back that day, but other restrictions will remain, including a ban on indoor gatherings. The PM will push to strengthen international trade bodies when he heads to the G7 summit. Australia there as one of four observers. Australia's prosperity rests squarely on maintaining our position as an outward-looking, open trading an economy. At the G7, we will be working with others to buttress the role of the World Trade Organisation and to modernise its rule book where necessary. Scott Morrison there. And Adelaide is now the most livable city in Australia, according to The Economist's 2021 survey. Sydney plummeted from 3rd to 11th place, while Melbourne dropped from 2nd to 8th. Auckland, New Zealand took out the top spot, followed by Osaka, Japan. In sport in AFL, Nathan Buckley will coach Collingwood for the last time in Monday's clash against Melbourne at the SCG, after announcing he will stand down from his role. And Australia's Olympic baseball team has given up trying to qualify for the Tokyo Games because of COVID-related travel issues. In entertainment news, Kim Kardashian is considering a restraining order against a man who posted her a diamond engagement ring and an emergency contraceptive. Her security team, who intercepted the odd gift, think it's the same guy who's shown up at her house multiple times. Army Hammer has checked himself into rehab to get treatment for several addiction issues. It follows months of sexual abuse allegations from multiple women who have accused the actor of emotional abuse, manipulation and sexual violence. And things are apparently getting pretty serious between J-Lo and Ben Affleck. Reports are she's packing up her Miami rental and heading to LA so the pair can spend more time together. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. But we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.